Hi, uh, for a while now I've been wanting to make a, um, a mechanical RAM for uh, the Delta printer. Uh, so anyway, this is kind of my uh, development so far. Um, I've kept it as simple as possible. Uh, it uses a Nemo 17 motor, so there's no upgrade to the electrics at all. Um, the RAM works off the same G-code E settings as does the print head. Um, so that's all relatively straightforward. Um, the structure of the kind of uh, uh, container needs to be pretty solid and in, a very, in quite a straight line because the amount of pressure that this is, is, is under is, um, is quite immense. Uh, anyway, the, so the the motor, the stepper motor, has got a one to twenty-seven gearbox on it, and uh, then extending out of the motor is a threaded um, rod, and on that rod is a little nut. Um, that nut then presses up against that plastic plate, that slowly, you know, pushes down the um, the plunger down into the the cartridge. Uh, it's a Teflon 12 ounce cartridge so um, I can get about an hour's printing out of that amount of clay. The clay could actually be stiffer but I, I, um, I find if the, if the clay gets too stiff the, uh, the cartridge starts bulging out. Um, so the, uh, the RAM obviously links into a, uh, a normal little alga print head. I consider the RAM as clay delivery uh, and then uh, that offers the clay up to the, um, the screw that actually controls the, um, the extrusion. I've designed these print heads to, to come apart as easy as possible for cleaning. Gives an indication of the sort of speed that the actual RAM is turning it. The whole system is, is counterweighted, it obviously needs to be able to move back and forwards, but also up and down with your um, homing. Uh, anyway, it seems to be pretty successful. <laughs> 